Hello, and welcome to Jounce. My name is Tyson, and today I am going to give you a simple overview of how to use Jounce and how to get the most out of all of its tools. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Right here on my screen, I have the Jounce dashboard. At present, it is the place where you can find all of the most recent documents that you have been working on. But let's go ahead and jump into the templates. The templates dashboard will likely be the place that you discover the magic of Jounce first. Let's get orientated. Over here on the left, I have a number of different filters where I can find different AI templates by category. So if I wanted to find everything to do with blogs, I could come here. And as you can see, I have at current six different templates that I can use. If you know what you're looking for, or you simply want to try to discover something, you can always go to the search at the top right. And in this case, I'm going to type in landing page. And as you can see, landing page comes up. Now, the nice thing is you don't always have to put in exactly how it is written out. If I were to put in page, I would also get this example. Okay, now that you're orientated, let's go ahead and try a template out. One of my favorite places to start is simply with the blog post outline. Now, let's go ahead and type in something new. I'm going to paste in this one I have about introducing Jounce AI. And I'm going to change the tone of voice here to informational. Now, I'm going to go down here and simply click Generate. And in a few seconds, I now have an outline of about 10 different sections that I can include in a blog post. But let's go ahead and try one more time. In this case, I like the first one. So if I'd like to turn this into a full document, all I have to do is come over and click the open in a document option. But before we do so, let's talk about some of the other options that we have available to us. One thing that you can do to help us improve is to thumb up and thumb down the ones that you like. You can also copy and paste any output to put it wherever you would like. But in this case, let's go ahead and open this up into a document. And just like that, this has opened up my outline into a full document. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a title. There we go. But now we have this outline without content. So let's go ahead and talk about how to use the document editor to also output content. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this here. And I could use a number of different tools, but in this case, let's go ahead and bring up the template selection from within the document editor itself. And the way that you do that is you click the forward slash command. And there it is. We can see now a number of templates that are available to us. These templates represent the 70 plus that are also available on the templates page. So let's go ahead and try something fun. Let's try the commands feature. So once I've typed in command, I can arrow down to it and simply click enter. Now this brings up the template input right here from within my document. So I could try something like, and I pasted in the outline here. Let's hit generate. And there we go. Just like that, we have a complete blog post based on the outline that we put in. Now, if I didn't like this, I could always just click R and it will try again. If I hit escape, it will discard the output and you can pick up from where you left off. But in this case, I'm going to simply hit enter and accept this. But it is important to note that you should always try to add some degree of personal touch to the long form content that you output. Now, if I want to expand on any of these areas, I can do so with another template that we have. In this case, I want to expand on what is Jounce AI. And I can do that by simply selecting this. And now I'm going to click Sentence Expander. And I'm going to paste that in here. And let's actually make this conversational and hit Enter. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to compare these two. And if I like the second one, all I have to do is 
delete that. And now I have even more context on the introduction of what Jounce AI is. Now you can really take this far and you can use all sorts of templates. I also like to use things like listicles or other types of content to expand upon the long form content that I generate. So once I'm done with this, I can of course use the document editor options to change anything up. If I like these to be different headlines, I could come here and I can make these H2s. I could change any colors. And of course, I could actually link to the correct resources, which in this case, it is already doing so. Now, if I'd like, I can share this with colleagues or coworkers by simply generating a link or inviting them via email. In this case, it's going to invite them to your Jounce account so that they can be a user themselves. But let's go ahead and go back and let's introduce you to the documents page itself. Okay, over here, you'll find the documents dashboard. By clicking on this, you will be able to find all of the documents that you've created. In this case, we have the introduction to Jounce document that we've created here. You can also find documents by using the document search option found here. And of course, you can create new documents from scratch by simply clicking new document. So that really makes up the core of how to use Jounce. And let's go ahead and get you familiar with some of the power tools. The one that I use the most often is the global search option. Global search will allow you to find anything across the entire Jounce application from templates to documents. So if I wanted to find that document quickly, I can type in an introduction to Jounce. And just like that, I can arrow down and I can quickly select it. And let's go back. I could also use it to quickly jump to templates. Let's go back to that landing page template that we talked about earlier. Now, one of the other things that makes Jounce unique is its ability to output long form and formatted content. Let's go ahead and look at what that looks like by using the landing page option here. So let's start by putting Jounce in and I'll paste this here, this description I have saved. And let's add in the benefits. In this case, I already have them saved. And let's hit generate. And, and there we go. I now have a full landing page outline with an introductory headline, a supportive introductory paragraph, a benefits breakdown with descriptions, features, and how those features work, call to action options, and of course, an FAQ as well. Now, of course, again, if I wanted to modify and edit and fine tune any of this content, I can do so by taking it into the document editor and doing what we had previously shown in terms of editing documents. So let's wrap this demo up by talking about a few of the very last options, the account settings. You can find your account settings by clicking at the top right here. Now, you can do some really cool things like changing your interface to dark mode. Or in my case, I like to leave that on system preferences. So as my system changes, so does the Jounce application. Now, at present, there's only a few things you can do here, namely invite your team. So if you'd like to invite your team so that they can create documents and marketing content with you, you can do that from here. And let's finalize our training by showing you the get help option. At present, you have two options. You can ask for help by joining our community of thousands of other Jounce users just like you, or by suggesting a feature here. We hope that you find Jounce useful and we're looking forward to seeing what you create. Cheers.